and to be a keen kind of student of the human condition is no bad thing no. Like, and it inf- like, you know, informs you it makes you a better person makes you a better dad makes you a better brother makes you a better son you know, makes you a better friend but and so but for, for, for no <laughs> yeah you should have concentrated more on that sort of <laughs> <laughs> Youth theatre. What, what made you? What? I had an amazing drama teacher called Mandy Langston in school. Right. I wasn't necessarily particularly academic, as a lot of people aren't. And uh, I had a teacher that would say to me, "Empty vessels make no sounds," because I was quite noisy. And I was like, "Why?" But she kind of saw in me that, like you know, like you know, that kind of bit of potential. As mm. as with so many people, and when I talk about like serendipitous moments and stuff like that, like having an amazing teacher that believes in you just like when you're a, like you know when you're a young person or whatever just find out who you are and give you that sense of direction if I hadn't met her like I wouldn't be sat here and now talking talking to you because mm-hmm. there's no way that I would have, I would have probably found something else to do so like you know like teachers that, 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 that go the extra mile and like you know, I just think are just the most incredible yeah. people on earth and we've got a lot everybody everybody uh, every adult I know can like you know attribute like you know some part of their success um, or well-being to, to a fantastic yeah. teacher. Mine is uh, Steph Kendall. Hello, Miss Kendall. Nice um, one, Miss Kendall. Yeah, no, because it wasn't her. And I tell you why. It was in a very different way. I was hanging around. I was. I struggled to fit in at school. I, you know, I wasn't great at. So I was all right, but it was a tough school, you know, in, in the centre of Leeds. And um, I was with. A, I was trying to fit in with a crowd that weren't the greatest, but they were quite popular. Um, and I realised it wasn't going well for me and I the only subject I liked was drama and I was in a drama group with all these guys and it just meant I was behaving badly so I said to uh, Mr. Kendall Mrs. Coyle at the time I asked her if I can go into her drama class because the, the sort of the drama kids were in that group and uh, and she said yeah and then the first lesson I acted like the biggest idiot and within five minutes she was like can I have a word outside and I was like yeah okay and she was like I went to go back to the other class you begged me to come in here and you're acting like an idiot and I was mortified I was mortified that this person that had given me an opportunity that I'd betrayed that and and that was it and then suddenly with the kids in that group that weren't the most popular kids I'd suddenly found my tribe and I felt like I fit in a lot more and about 15 years later I was teaching a stage fighting workshop and I kept looking at this teacher thinking, that can't be, it can't be. Not, she looks exactly the same, it nice. cannot be, and it was her. And I go back to her school in Leeds and I teach her kids stage fighting every year. Oh. And, and, and it brings me so much pride to tell her students. One, you know, I'm, I'm doing it and there's a couple of other students of hers that are out working in the West End and things like that. But two, you know, as far as I'm concerned, they've got the best drama teacher in the world, you know. It must be like a, a constant source of pride to see like you know, any teacher that like, you know, see somebody prospering at their chosen career and thanks them directly. So if you've got great teachers and stuff like that, then let them know, oh, man. let them know. Because like, you know, we're all people, like, you know, we all wanna hear praise and we all wanna feel good about ourselves. And if they've gone the extra mile for you, then then go the extra mile for them. Yeah. Because um, you certainly won't regret so it. So drama as a subject at school, why, why was that the subject that you, you said that you weren't necessarily as academic as perhaps, because you are a very intelligent person, but I think we find our intelligence and our common sense and things at different stages in life. Well, that's very cool you said. I don't know about that. But, no, um, you are an intelligent <laughs> person. You can hold your own in a debate. <laughs> Did you just like drama at school because it wasn't the academic subject or were there any other reasons that you found drama useful in your life or have there been any instances you were like yeah that's because I did drama at school I just, well, I just think it's boundless like I don't understand like you know drama doesn't have to be a vocation people liking or appreciating drama doesn't have to be a vocation you don't have to do it for a living mm-hmm. like you know to get anything out of it if you want to be a doctor you want to be a teacher you want to be a salesman you want to stand up in front of people and try and get their attention and get them to like you know to be interested in you mm-hmm. then like you know I, I feel like you know doing improvisation like you know like you know dealing with text looking to stand up in front of people and presenting is an invaluable tool the idea that that's going to be squandered by the government or they're trying some way to kind of you know to, 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 to do away with that because it's not a core subject I find absolutely ludicrous mm-hmm. you know I like you know it informs every like every aspect of something that everybody does I defy you to to, to, to show me a, a person that couldn't be 
better uh, for like you know, or, or, or learn more about themselves or how to present themselves or other people and empathy and social structures and it can oh, right now I am talking about myself again <laughs> yes. but it does it encompasses yeah. every subject drama does at some point because depending on what, 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 what a certain character is going through you are finding things out about them and their, their geography their history their, all of these different things to be like you know to be a study like you know to be a keen kind of student of the human condition is no bad thing no. Like, and it inf- like you know informs you it makes you a better person makes you a better dad makes you a better brother makes you a better son you know makes you a better friend and so, but for 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 no, yeah, you should have concentrated more on that sort of thing. <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah, of course. But you know what? Like, I I, I think I, I think that's like, you know I think that's really important. Like like you know I just I just don't understand why like you know why it isn't given as much kind of credence as it should be. So it, I think it's fairly safe to say that had it not been for certainly a specific drama teacher but also the subject of drama at schools yeah, but it's, school, I mean, we wouldn't probably be doing what it is that we're doing today but it's just so vast like that's what I love about it like you know, you, you, know, you can spend your whole life doing it and you don't even scratch the surface of what you can do so and, and the nice thing is now like you know like you've got your iPhone up or whatever like any young person out there that wants to do something yeah. rather than just wait for like a casting director to call ever make your own luck like yeah. you, know, you don't have to wait for directors and stuff you if you want to be a director or you're a burgeoning like you know director of photography or an actor or something like that or a writer then just get creating yeah. like you know there are avenues to like upload stuff and you know what i, I just had a meeting with bbc3 about like a um, an idea that we're developing and they're so keen to hear from young people